Hello class. Today we're going to get started on Unit 3, Lesson 2, Plotting Shapes. So last week, we saw a lot of different, where we researched different ways computer science is used in entertainment. We're going to continue with that theme, but today we're going to start looking at how we get images onto a computer. So I am going to start by describing an image to you. So if you would, go grab a piece of paper or pull a piece of paper out and get your pencil or pen ready and start drawing as I describe the shape. Now you're all going to try to be our computer. You're going to be the computer and I'm going to be the programmer. And we're going to try to communicate how to put some shapes onto the computer screen. Now your piece of paper is a computer screen. You are taking my instructions and writing them down as you process them. So here we go. If you don't have your paper yet, go ahead and pause the screen or pause this real quick. And we're going to start in three, two, one. Now I'm going to start by telling you that we have three different colors we're using. I know you don't need to have three different colored pencils or markers or anything, but I'm going to be using blue, green, and red. Okay, I'm going to use blue, green, and red. Now, you can use one color and just put a G on it for green, put an R on it for blue, put a or for red and a B on it for blue. All right, so I don't want you to, to panic over not having these colors. But we're gonna go kind of the center of the piece of paper. And in the center, I want you to make a circle. Now this circle is going to be, oh, I don't know, a little bit to the left and a little bit up from the very exact center. And it's going to be about mm, half of an inch tall all the way around. So go ahead and make that circle. That circle is going to be green. Starting right in the center of that circle, I want you to draw a red square. And a square starts in the center and goes out to the right, then down, then back to the left, and then back up to the center of the circle. And that is red. And that square is going to be, oh, let's say it's, it's <clears throat> a half inch in size also. Now what I want you to do is move over to the right. I want you to go over probably two inches. So go to the right two inches and go up about one inch. And at that point, I want you to start to draw a square. Now we're gonna start from the point your pencil is now and we're gonna go to the right. And this one's gonna be about a half inch too. So move to the right half inch, down a half inch, left a half inch, back up. That is going to be a blue square. Okay. Now that you have that drawn, we're going to move down about three inches, and we're going to move over about an inch. So we kind of want to be in the middle between the two squares we've drawn, but we're closer to our red square by about half. So if you went half between, or if you went right in the middle, then go over about that much again. And I want you to start by making a red circle right at that point. Make a red circle. Now that you have your red circle, the very center of that circle, I want us to make a green square. So we're gonna start in the center of that square and we're gonna move from the center 
and we're going to draw to the right half an inch, down half an inch, left half an inch, and then back up that half inch. Now, you got your green square on top of your red square. Now we're going to draw a blue circle on top of that green square. And in our, I want to start my circle. The middle of our circle is going to be right at the left, lower left point of the square. You're going to draw a circle. So right there's the center of our circle. And the top of our blue circle is going to touch the bottom of our red circle. And you're just going to draw a circle. So that circle, that blue circle, starts. The center of it is at the lower left-hand corner. And the height of it goes up and touches the bottom of the red and makes that complete circle. So thinking about that, what is making this challenging? Go ahead and pause this, take that, and think about it for a second, and then go ahead and start this video, or this video again. I'm going to click the button, and here's what I was trying to have you draw. Okay? We've got our green circle on top of our red. We've got our blue that's kind of over in the middle. Then here's that three object shape. You see how the, the red and the blue kind of touch and that blue starts right in the center of that green lower left corner. That's what I was trying to, to have you draw was that image there. Now, in Canvas, this is what I want you to think about. What are the different challenges or problems we're going to need to solve in order to successfully communicate these kinds of drawings because this is the basis for our characters and our um, backgrounds and things that we're going to be creating how can we communicate to the computer what we want how can we be specific on where those objects are go ahead and pause the video and answer that our question of the day, how can, we clearly, how can we clearly communicate how to draw something on a screen? And for our activity today, we're going to jump into Code Studio. We're going to have a partner, but we're going to start at level two. And it says do this, press run to start the program. When you're with your partner, explore the tool, tool. what are some tips for someone using it? I'm going to jump out of the video real quick. I'm going to jump into Canvas. Actually, let me close this real quick. I'm going to jump into Canvas. I'm going to navigate down to where you guys are. So we're in Unit 3. We're down here on Lesson 2. So Chapter 1, Lesson 2. And right in here, this is where we get the video, right? We hit Next. We did our warm up. You guys just did that. And here we go. We're going to have a student A. We're going to have a student B. But I don't want you to worry about that right yet. Right down here is our code studio. Click that button. That brings up our question of the day and everything. We have our student B, our student A. We don't need to worry about that. And on level two. Level two, this is called. I don't know where that's popping up. Okay, we're in here. We are going to start to make things. We're going to start drawing on the screen. Okay, so I can hit run. And when I hit that run button, it gives me some options. I got this little, little splash. I got a square. Oh, I can start to put the square up. If I click a color and then a shape, it gives me a color. If I click a shape, it gives me the last color I had, it looks like. So I can start putting things on there. Whoa, black and white. Whoa, color. Reset. Oh, I can erase. Cool. And I can click finish. For now, I just want you to see 
shapes going on here. Okay. Oh, there's this little show grid. What is that? Hmm. Cool. All right. Now, I'm going to jump back over to our PowerPoint. You're going to jump in there. You're going to explore that with your partner, kind of just like I did. You play around with it. Okay, plotting shape activities. Here we go. You each have two different sets of pictures. That's why we have a student A, student B. They're, you're in groups. Um, and you're going to do kind of like I did with you, and you're going to describe to your partner how to draw the picture on your shape or on your activity guide. You're going to take turns describing the picture for your partner. So we've got on there, we have um, a drawing A and a drawing B, right? Each person has a drawing A, each person has a drawing B. So describe the drawing in detail, but don't, um, but don't look at the computer screen. Listen carefully to the instructions, but don't look at the paper. Now, you can try and do this on the computer, or you can try and do it on paper. It's probably easier on paper. And take turns drawing, okay? So do the first drawing. A may give partner B the first set of instructions. And then after you get that drawing A done, then partner B, you have your part to have partner a do drawing one off of your sheet okay so take turns don't let them see the paper give instructions listen carefully and don't look at the screen remember a computer can't tell you if it didn't get the instructions right it just goes ahead and does what what the programmer tells it to do and now in our wrap-up on canvas couple of questions. What things were important to communicate? So what was what things were important in communicating about the position, the color, and the order of the shapes in this activity? And what a way you have seen similar problems solved in the past? So what's a way you've seen similar problems solved in the past? You might have seen something like this in math class, maybe science class. How have you seen problems like this solved in the past? And then question of the day, how can we clearly communicate how to draw something on a screen? All right, guys, hope you enjoy this activity. I know I kind of think it's fun. I'm sorry I'm not there to work on this with you because this is, this is a fun activity that I really enjoy. Have fun.